Hey everybody, it's Brian, and in this video I'll be showing you some of the iCloud synchronization features in iOS 5. So, once iOS 5 is going to be released this fall, everybody is going to have access to iCloud, which gives you 5 gigs of free space. You could upgrade to a $25 a year account, which would give you some more, and it's good for music and videos as well. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the syncing options available for iCloud. So if I go into Settings, and then tap on iCloud on the left sidebar, you can see that these are the things that we can sync. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to go ahead and open Notes on the iPad. And I'm going to go ahead and make a note. I'm also going to open the Notes app on my iPhone 4. Now I'm going to go ahead and type a note on the iPad. And then after a little while, you'll be seeing it on the iPhone 4 automatically. My iPad is on Wi-Fi while my iPhone 4 is on 3G. So this is a test note for iOS 5's iCloud syncing feature. And I'll just leave it like that so the note is finished. Now within about a minute, you should see the, uh, the same note pop up on the iPhone 4. Now I don't know if it actually syncs while the application is open. I think you have to close it. And then you might need to open it back up again and then it refreshes some of the stuff. So I'm going to, you can see right now that there's the, uh, the activity indicator on the iPhone 4 is moving, so it must be doing something. And there is the note that I just created on my iPad. I'm going to go ahead and delete the note from my iPhone 4. And I'm going to wait for the network activity to stop on the iPhone. Now you can see that it's still here on my iPad, so I'm going to close it and then open it back up. And you can see that it's doing some network stuff and the note is gone. So that was just a quick example of the note syncing with iCloud. And I'm also going to show you reminder syncing. So let's say you want to make a new reminder. So make a few YouTube videos. So that reminder is finished. So I'm going to open up the Reminders application on my iPhone 4. I'll move it over here so you can see a little bit better. And it should eventually start to sync and it will show this reminder on the iPhone 4. I don't see the network activity spinner so I don't know if the, uh, the reminder syncing works just yet. But you did see that it did work with the Notes application. Keep in mind that iOS 5 is not going to be out for a number of months, so Apple still has plenty of time to improve on iCloud and um, iCloud as well as iOS 5. So what else do we have here? We have calendars. So most people already know about calendar syncing because that feature has been around for a long time with individual mail accounts. So that's actually it with the video. If you guys have any comments, questions, suggestions, or iOS 5 request videos, you can send them in via the, uh, the comments area down below. But that's it with the video. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you.